Well, Hospice of Wichita Falls is hoping to raise $25,000 over what was raised during last year's Tree of Lights campaign. Today was the last day to donate in the 37th annual event, and there's been a big push on radio to help make that $300,000 goal happen. Daryl Franklin is standing by with his winter coat with a great view of the brand new hospice tree high atop the southwest building off Kemp. Daryl, the reason for that larger financial goal always stays the same. It is, and that's why the, end of, the reason really is end of life care can go on being provided for folks who really need it here in Texoma. And here to talk more about that is Executive Director of uh, Hospice of Wichita Falls, Elisa Eccles. Thanks so much for being right here, and we're very happy to be out here as well. So, how important is this campaign each and every year, especially when you have projects like the $11 million inpatient care facility that's set to open in the coming months? This annual Tree of Lots campaign is so important. It means that we never have to turn anybody away. That that needs hospice care in the 12 counties that we service. It also means that we can provide grief services in our new bereavement center for the community at large at no charge. Okay, so each and every year, Texomans come through for hospice of Wichita Falls. What do you say we find out if they came through once again? Today was such an exciting day, Daryl. Uh, we had $40,000 left to raise this morning at 7 o'clock. Of the $300,000 goal. Yes, so we were on the radio for 10 hours. We heard some great stories, had a lot of people People call and donate, and I'm so thrilled to say that we did reach our goal, and we will be lighting that star tonight. Let's do it right now. Okay. Can we light it right now? Sure. Okay, let's step out of the way and let's see it. Okay, let's light that star. And there it is. And a beautiful star it is. That's a brand new, brand new Christmas tree and a brand new light, too. That's wonderful. So what's your reaction that, once again, this did happen for Hospice of Wichita? You know, economy being what it is right now and inflation, it just touches my heart that people continue to give to Hospice of Wichita Falls even during the hard time. So very thankful to this community. How wonderful it is. Yes. Elisa, thanks so much. So each of those lights on top of the tree signifies a $10 donation in memory or in honor of someone. That light on top of the tree proves that hospice care will go on being provided for the folks here in Texoma who really need it. Lauren, we'll send it back to you. Okay, that is so awesome, and it looks just as beautiful as ever. And that confetti, it just popped right over the tree. It looks so pretty, and, you know, we're just so grateful for everything that hospice does for the community. And next year's goal might just have to be even bigger.